Uzu. Hi, in Ojibwe. Taking that deep breath in. And the deep exhale. Coming fully into the present moment. Here we are. Another day to live. Another day to tune in. Tune in to what is healthy and beautiful and life-giving and affirming and funny and joyous. Oops. Kick the stand. <laughs> yeah, so this word shaman just loaded. Russian anthropologists got it from the Tungus. Some say that means to heat up. There are shamans and medicine peoples, uh, medicine people in cultures all over the world, all over the planet. And the medicine person not only helps um, heal people with various uh, afflictions, but their job is a very social role to journey into the spirit world by various means and retrieve useful information for the people. Like in the old days, it might be to find sources of water or to know where animals were, um, to send hunters out in the right, in the right direction. And sometimes the hunters and the medicine people were the same people. But a shaman in particular, um, is only called that by the tribe, by the people. Shamans don't refer to themselves as shamans. They just do their work and um, hopefully do a good job. And it's not some big ego trip or exotic position. It's really bloody hard in a lot of ways. It's a sacrifice. And um, most shamans go through some form of illness or uh, psychic dismemberment, um, both, both hardship kind of borne by natural, natural challenges, but also um, sometimes their, their elders can uh, put them through really rough, rough things to, uh, to um, see, that, see that they've got the right stuff to help the people. My uh, teacher mentor, um, Leon Secatero, referred to uh, by his Navajo people as a, as a holy man. They, uh, <laughs> they actually kidnapped him from his kind of, uh, I mean, they, they removed him from his social post, um, some sort of, uh, I can't think of the bureaucratic role. They removed him from his bureaucratic role and they basically said, you know, you can't, you can't, uh, you can't do, you can't walk both sides of the fence. You can't straddle the fence. You gotta give 100% for the people. Uh, and he did. So there's lots of different ways that shamans become shamans, but usually it's because of tremendous hardship. And that, that dismemberment can be 
tremendous psychic breakdown of experiencing all sorts of things none of us wants to experience um, and ultimately harnessing the powers of shame and guilt and tremendous fear, anguish, rage, and uh, transforming those energies with tremendous spiritual guidance, surrendering to those spirit guides and allies for the benefit of the people, getting out of the way and serving, being a good helper. Those are a few words, a uh, few, uh, few thoughts on the word shaman and what a shaman is. It's not a big glorious thing. It's hard, hard work.